Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I'm your yarn host Jennifer and this is take two because I really just thought I was recording then my camera shut off and there's no file there. So with that, <laughs> uh, today's Friday. It's Friday finally. Um, I don't have traditional yarn porn to show you per se. However, I do have, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have yarn on this day. Okay. <laughs> I'm all tangled up here. Um, so I sit on the couch with the little man and I was like, all right, I need a video for Friday. You got any ideas? Because very often I will go to my family and be like, hey, you got any ideas for Friday's video or Thursday or whatever? Or I'm at a loss, help me guys. And we brainstorm as a family because Cinnamon Stitches is nothing if not family, a family business. They all take part, they all help. Well. They help me with ideas. They don't do much else. I'm going to be honest with that. All right, if y'all are going to keep me entangled, we're going to cut you. I don't like this. So I was sitting there, and I'm, I'm like, my brain is filing through all these ideas as it does. And it's on super quick speed. And it stopped on an idea, and I was like, that idea is perfect for a Friday video. Now, I could... I could go on my shelf and I could grab a bucket off the shelf. I could show you what's in there. There's lots of yarn and buckets that you guys have not seen yet. You know, this is, see, I don't want to cut it. It's right there on the end. There's that. <laughs> well, today in my world, today while you're watching this video, I'm not at home. I'm out of town. But today in my world, right now, um, it is... Tuesday and Tuesday I am showing you guys the mega cake puff flowers and so that gave me an idea we are gonna get the dog hair off of our desk we're gonna make our own we're gonna make our own cake we're gonna make our own mega cake we're just gonna make a cake some of this yarn I believe this yarn I'm fairly confident that this one is wool and because we don't know the fiber contents of some of these yarns, we are going to have to, when we finish the product, wash and dry it as if it is entirely made of wool. Because some of these might be wool, some of them might be acrylic, it's just best to treat it as if it's a wool so you don't damage the wool when you wash the final product. Now, if you don't have any wool and you are confident that none of your yarn is wool, and you're only using acrylic and you know that you're only using acrylic because maybe you store your leftovers with the labels. <laughs> you don't have to hand wash nothing. All right, so this is my bag. This is what I have. I think this is all of my scraps. I think I condensed a lot of them down. I think this is my scraps that will work. Now I have homespun on my desk. That's not going to work. I'm trying to aim for everything between a DK and a worsted weight to go into this mega cake. And this will definitely not work. This is Premier Chenille, or Premier, what is this? The Chenille Bloom. Which apparently, Lama Mama Kayla has said she found some of this yarn at Michael's, but it's labeled under the Michael's brand name, Loops and Threads, so... All right, what do we have in my magic bag <laughs> of leftovers? All right, so the first three balls that I pulled out are these colors, and these are given fall, but like southwestern at the same time. I really like this uh, teal color mixed in with it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be aiming for like, this one might work, but I think this is a fingering weight. So we might still put that in there. We, I don't know. We have fluorescent orange, that's a bit much. I have camouflage, again, a little bit much. <gasps> Look at this gold sparkle will go in. That can go in. Um, what else do we have in here? I'm trying to use up as much scraps as I can. We got another sparkle right here, and these are leftovers. I think those are slightly different colorways. They look different. These are leftover, the sparkles are leftover um, scraps from the Jada and Stitches calendar blanket last year. Um, I have gray. We can put gray in with this. Now, my mega, my mega cake 
is not going to be as big as that mega cake because my ball holder only holds I think 10 ounces so it's not going to be quite that big but um, let's see we have blue and green sparkles but I don't think the green goes with the colors but this one I don't think this one does this one's a little too pastel-y and I'm on the fence about the peach of course I have white but I don't want white in here I have this is part of a this is part of a premier yarn cake because I had to chop it apart to make the the um, car bag that I made that probably is gonna work all right I think we got a good start here I don't I'm not feeling the gray all right now when you think of what colors are gonna look good next to each other so we're gonna take inspiration from this this is a repeating colorway so they started with red orange yellow dark green light green blue pink purple and then it repeats in a mirror format the opposite way so it goes pink so it's like we're just going backwards pink blue dark green although dark green and light green are out of order yellow orange red so we're just going to put it all in one color i i'm thinking the teal for the center and i want the teal or do I want the teal between the... I think I want the teal between the red and the brown. Alright. Let's scoot some things over. We're going to use up our... Long overdue scraps. We're going to make us a cake. I am just going to do... A very simple knot to connect the yarns. Whatever knot you use to connect your yarn while you're doing your project, just use that knot to tie in between cakes. We're going to put this to good use. <laughs> Maybe not with this one because this one is kind of like baggy. This is what this is used for. Boop. And then, so we're going to do red, blue, and then the brown. And because, no, that middle of this is coming out. I don't understand what I was doing here. Because this half is caked, but it's coming from the center of this half. So that can't go on there. Uh, and the balls can't go on there. The pink can go on there. And the pink will look good next to the the brown. So we'll do red, teal, brown, pink. We'll put those in order and that'll get us started. What's the matter, Bubba? Juju left and she didn't take you with her. Bentley is behind us. I'm gonna tilt you guys down so you can watch the ball go round and round. If this makes you dizzy, I apologize. Alright. Now, this thing has a brace that connects it to the table. But, because I don't feel like getting it out, I'm just I'm feeling lazy. I'll just hold it still. I'm not going to get it out. I also like to control the tension of the yarn as it's coming through, so I hold it right here. Oh, you can see Oreos back there. Oops. Bentley's on this side. I can't wait to see how this turns out. I have done magic cakes like this in the past. And I made an all white one. And I don't remember what I, I turned it into because I crocheted it up. But I did all of my scrap white yarns and I had a ton. And it it was one of the most beautiful cakes. I actually may have put that in a mystery box now that I think about it. Oops. 
went too far. All right, so now we're at the end of the red. We said we're gonna do the teal. This is the knot I'm gonna be doing. It's backwards to you. So I hold them two side by side. I learned this from MJ's Off the Hook. You pinch it, okay? You wrap it around your thumb and the yarn twice. You put it between your thumb and this yarn and you tuck that in. And this is the part I always screw up on. And then you pull this tight over that knot. And then you can cut this part off and it will stay together. It's a pretty good knot. All right. Oh, that work is so good. Hang on, hang on. Let me adjust. So you can watch the little spinny thing. So apparently I do need to hold it. It was bouncing around too much. Now it's tangled down here. Now if you don't if you don't have one of these fancy things, the ball winder, you could handball your yarn. It'll give you the same effect. What the heck? How far down is this tangle? You know what the problem is? I'm trying to get this video done before little man starts school. Because I'm doing this first thing in the morning. I'm trying to get things done. And I know that I'm on a time crunch. But I'm going to be raw honest. We can start school late. It's not a big deal. Let's try that again. There we go. That just stops the this from bouncing around, which sometimes can cause this to have problems. I have been using these this week and I didn't think I needed those in my life at all and oh my god they're so nice to work with they're so nice to work with all right now you know what I don't want to deal with that not right now anyway slide that on there and this is a thinner yarn but you can see that it's definitely thinner that might not actually work and I don't think I have any more brown that just might be too thin maybe I can hold it double if we hold it double it might work better yeah we're gonna hold it double and see what we can accomplish and again, I'm just going to do the same kind of knot that I already did. Wrap it twice. Go in between your thumb and the yarn. Tuck the yarn into the, where your thumb was. If I can get it in there. Pull tight. Alright, let's see what happens. we got to go slow because this one's tangled. And should I have untangled it first? Yes, but I don't do anything to make my life easier and I don't know why. <laughs> It'd be nice if I did. It is so hot in here. I actually have... I'm not going to make you stare at my hands while I untie yarn. Um... I actually have the AC on and the window open trying to cool the house down real quick. All of our box fans have been broke. 
from the kids putting them in their rooms and not picking stuff off the floor so things get sucked into the fan and the brain the the fan blades break or otherwise I would have a box fan in the window because it is glorious outside today it is absolutely beautiful it's um oh, it's probably in the low 70s We got 15 minutes for school. Lucas, are you eating? Yeah. It's probably gonna take me 15 minutes to untangle this stupid ball of yarn. What do you think of the brown next to the teal, though? This teal has been teasing me all week, like, haha, you can't turn me into anything, because I kept coming up with ideas. I wanted to mix the teal with this. Oh, this would be so pretty in there. But again, this one is thin, but if we're holding the brown double, we can hold the, the blue double and mix it in. And that actually might be prettier than the peach next to the brown. The peach is still gonna go in there. I just figure it out. There is an end here that does not belong. So that tells me that there's Help me right. I'm not gonna make you watch me untangle this. I'll be. I cut it. I confess. I'm not. <laughs> it was so. I was so tired of pulling on that yarn. I cut it. I almost wish I had just a little bit more of this brown. Because I think it's kind of pretty. It's like a red chocolate brown. Now the whole point of a magic cake is to not overthink it. To not, I mean, put colors in that go good to each other. And try to have like a theme a general theme of what you you want to accomplish from the cake or like for me I'm doing like fall colors see if I can find where the center yarn is I'm gonna mix in this uh because this one is thin we're gonna mix this one in with the brown because we ran out of brown and I gave up I'm just doing a quick knot there we go. Alright, let's see what that looks like. That's pretty. I got a fall up voice stuck in my head. Oh, where did the party go? It's right here on my bow winder. All right, all right. Almost done there. Got a big old tangle on the end of this yarn. And like I said, I think that this brown is absolutely wool. And I'm positive that I know exactly where it came from. I think this was part of a set. Right, we're gonna pull the orange out. I think this brown was part of a set that was gifted to me. I don't remember her name. This blue is soft. All right. Do I want to do the peach next or the blue? I think the blue. So I don't want to have two sparkles next to each other. And this is going to be another instance where we have we cut because this is a hot mess. This ball is right here. One of the reasons I hate donut shaped yarns is because they do this. They fall apart. This is coming from the center. All right. Wish me luck. This is really thin too, so I would ideally use this doubled up. Do I have a blue that would work with this? Probably not. Probably not. Me and my bright ideas. Yeah, that's just too thin to put in with that. 
Oh, we're going to have to double this one up. I have to double it. Da, 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 double mint twins. Let's see when we find the other end. Without causing chaos. Chaos is my middle name. Actually, chaos is Lucas's middle name. Let's be real honest. <laughs> it's definitely this yarn's middle name. Shush, I'll feed you later. My stomach is growling at me. It's like, dang, be quiet, stomach. My dogs don't even growl at me when they're hungry. See, this all collapsed on the outside of the donut. I don't know what yarn person is like, oh yeah, let's wrap that like a donut. It'll be fantastic. It'll fall apart on them. You know what? Just scraps anyway. Go over there. All right. I'm gonna tie the two blue outer and inner of the donut. So this is probably gonna be a hot mess, a hot disaster waiting to happen. But Bentley, can you please stop cleaning yourself? The whole world can't hear you. more so you can see it. Alright. Now oh, let's see how we can get before it gets severely tangled. Gotta tell you a little secret about Little Man. Little Man used to be friends with the kids across the street. I'm talking quietly because my window's open and they're nosy and they'll be like all up in my window listening. Um, and he's not anymore because of me. It's because of me. Um, I yelled at their dad because he yelled at Lucas because he chose to put his kid in timeout outside at the end of the driveway and Lucas was driving back and forth talking kinda to himself kinda to his friend is it 10 o'clock bud? I don't no it's not did you eat all your breakfast? yeah anyway they don't just talk in that house like they scream at everybody all the time like that's how they communicate and you're not going to scream and talk at my kid like that. So I went out there and I screamed at the dad. I mean, I psychopathically screamed at his dad. <laughs> Their dad. Because um, Mama Bear was out and Mama Bear was already in a mood. And I was just like, you, you're the one that put your kid in timeout outside. Like, how stupid are you? Like, you can't tell my kid not to talk to your kid. Or not to talk in general. Like, he screamed at Lucas to stop talking. And Lucas talks to himself all the time, don't you, bud? Oh, he left. He talks to himself loudly when no one... There he is. There he is. Don't you talk to yourself a lot. Just like Mama talks to herself. I just record it. <laughs> anyway. Um, he was waiting for the school bus to come home yesterday. And I know why he was doing it. Ha ha, I don't have to go on the stupid school bus with you guys. Oh, Lucas, you were being petty. Tom Petty? Yes, <laughs> Tom Petty, but <laughs> You're so my kid. <laughs> I'm going to call you Lucas Petty. That Lucas Petty boy. Baby. Um, I thought it was funny. Like He's like, haha, I get to be at home. And the reason I'm thinking of that is not because I'm trying to be petty. I'm thinking of that because um, I just sat here thinking about how quiet it is outside with the windows open because all the kids are in school. Except... Next door, they're homeschooling, and um, Lucas is homeschooling, so it's just so quiet in the neighborhood when there's not kids screaming everywhere. We went for a walk, and well, we went for a good hike, didn't we, Lucas? Yeah. We went for a pretty good hike. Mr. Cinnamon was not happy. <laughs> Mr. Cinnamon does not like bugs. He does not like plant life touching him, because he's like... 
he he was born and raised in California in Ventura, California. Well, Oxnard. He was born and raised in Oxnard, California. Between the fields, between the strawberry fields and the ocean. <laughs> he lived in the concrete jungle. They barely had trees out there. It, so and there wasn't like shades that provided tree or sh yeah, shades. There wasn't trees that provided shade. So he did not. There was not plant life where he grew up, except for the strawberry fields, which, if you went in the stra strawberry sh fields, they would shoot at you with rock salt or the beanbag guns. Because <laughs> they would steal the strawberries. Can you untangle that from... Never mind, I got it. And um, he's not good with nature. I love nature. Like We couldn't afford much growing, growing up, so my parents would take us... We did a lot of nature walks. They're hikes, but it's, they always call them nature walks. And we did a lot of just being outside because it was free or it was $5 to get into Kensington specifically. Kensington Metro Park, we did a lot of nature walks there. Ford Lake in Ypsilanti, we did a lot of nature walks there. Both places I miss immensely. But we have cool places here to do that. It's just Mr. Cinnamon does not like. He is not a nature boy. And he's like, I don't know. It was so funny because we're walking through. Hi, Bubba. You want love hands? Um, Bentley often stops me when I'm doing something just so I can love on him. I wanted to go for the nature walk. And I told Mr. Simon, I was like, it's a beautiful day out. It's like, it was 72 degrees. It was just gorgeous, light breeze. I was like, I just want to go on a nature walk. I want to go on a hike. And he's all right. And I was like, I want to go to one of the battlefields. And I'm not going to say which one, because I don't want no weirdos just showing up thinking I'm going to be there. <laughs> and we went and we we're walking through. And we went a different way than we normally go. And I had no idea how foresty it got on this, this, this hike. And it was up and down hills and it was across, there was a little, um, somebody put sticks across the stream so that you could walk across the stream and continue on the path without getting soaked. This cake is turning out so pretty. We're going to do the pink sparkles next. And, um... Little man did really good. There were bugs everywhere, wasn't there, bud? Yeah. There was bugs everywhere, and he did really good. He didn't freak out a whole lot. And he he even led the pack, which he never leads the pack. It's usually me, because I clear the way of spider webs for them, because I'm not afraid of spiders, and they are. Both my boys <laughs> don't like bugs. <laughs> and um, there, he, he spotted, like, several caterpillars on the ground, and just making their way to the plant life to cocoon up. Um, and at one point, Mr. Cinema is like, Look, he's like, Lucas, Lucas, put your arms up like this above the plants. Because the plants were all about this high. And so they're both walking like this behind me. I turn around and I was like, <laughs> if I didn't know better, I would say someone was walking behind them with a weapon making... <laughs> Because it looked like <laughs> it reminded me of videos I've seen on the Ho Chi Minh Trail, okay? And that's what it looked like. They were walking with their hands up, and I fully expected to be someone. And we're on a battlefield, so like my brain is racing with imagination thoughts. But it was just hilarious. I turned around and laughed, and I was like, What are you doing? He's all, I don't know what plants are poison ivy and what's not. I was like, Leaves of three, let them be. <laughs> And so there was a couple of patches of poison ivy and I was like, step over this, step over this. They all had pants on because ticks are crazy here. Like I have ticks in my backyard. There's just ticks everywhere. If I don't keep the dogs treated, they actually absolutely bring the ticks in the house. And um, this cake is turning out so pretty. It's getting to the point where it's almost too big for the cake winder. It was a really fun hike, though. It was way longer than I expected because we'd never gone that way. And Mr. Cinnamon, 
he pulls out his phone. I was like, why do you have your phone? He's like, I want to make sure that the phone can still pick up where we're at. Like, I need to see the map. And I'm like, we're on a trail <laughs> in a battlefield that someone created. Why do you need your map? Because I don't know where we're going. I was like, if you stay on the trail, you're safe. <laughs> like, somebody made this trail. It takes you someplace. I was I was giving him such a hard time and he's he's behind me like we're in the woods at this point and he's going ah, ah. and at that point I snapped I'm like dude I need this you can turn around and go back to the car I need nature right now <sighs> all right I'm thinking the green we have a lot of sparkle on this end but green isn't that pretty Baby boy. Baby boy. We are going to implement the Dollar Tree ball winder thing, or ball hole thing. I think we're going to start school a few minutes late today, bud. Because it's 10 o'clock on the dot. Why don't you go log in and load up your computer? Make sure everything's logged in. I will be in there in just a minute. Because this ball is almost at capacity. really close to I'm not gonna fit anymore <laughs> see how well this little ball thing from the Dollar Tree works it's working pretty good I know you guys can't see it but that worked next it's yellow this is going to be so much fun, this ball. It's going to be so colorful. We're almost out of yarn, too. That went pretty fast. I encourage you, even if you don't have one of these, these fancy ball winder things, make a magic ball. Oops. What happened? My band fell off. Dollar Tree, folks. This is from the Dollar Tree. on the gold and we're gonna call it a day we got two shades of gold I should have I should have like mixed up the gold a little bit I'm trying to think what else I could put in here but like I said like we're almost at the point where I can't put any more yarn on here because at a certain point it will not take any more yarn it will just it stops You can do this with your scrap balls. You can do it with your scrap skeins. Like your floppy skeins, your leftovers. Alright, we have one more. It's ten. I'm almost done. Put this gold one on, okay? Baby boy. Are you logged in, babe? I already am. Okay. What what assignment are you gonna do first? You like science, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you can go ahead and get started. I'm I'm gonna be there in just five minutes. Okay? Right now? Yeah. Go ahead. And if you have any questions, just pause. I'll be right there. Okay? What? Said so if you have any questions, just pause the activity, and I'll be right there. Cause I have to do my lesson plan for the day today too. This gold just makes it extra. It's so pretty. And these sparkle yarns are mostly from Mary Maxim because 
I was looking for specific colors and Mary Maxim had the most variety of colors for sparkle yarn. Um, I don't think Premier Yarns has sparkle yarn at all. And I wanted the whole blanket to be sparkle so that became a serious issue of trying to find things that were sparkly that matched the colors. So that's when I got creative. <laughs> and some of the colors in that blanket are two and three yarns held together. And these yellows were actually because I bought yet yeah, the, the golds are yellows that I bought for Mary Maxim because on their website their colors are so off on their website on Mary Maxim like they're way off so I had to order like three and four different colors to get the right shade of yellow for some of the months come on don't tangle up on me baby come on quiz it come on quiz it So a couple things that's going to be linked in the description box below because I know people are going to ask. I'm going to link this once again. You saw how well this worked. I'm going to link the single one, which is back here. I didn't use it today, but I used it the other day, and they work fantastic. And then I'm going to link this. They have a cheaper version of this on Amazon. It does not work as well. It does not. Um, there are major issues with it. But if you can't afford something like this, buy a cheaper one. It's not going to matter in the long run. And I'm only linking them because I know that people are going to ask, where'd you get that? What is it? How much does it cost? So I will link those things below. But again, if you can't afford one of these things and you want to make a magic cake, you could start off by wrapping it around a toilet paper holder or a paper towel holder and just wrap. Make your own cake. Um, you can also hand ball it. Oh, this is so pretty, guys. <laughs> and it was free! Alright, let's pop it off. First thing you want to do, grab your center and pull that out so that it's hanging. In case you want to center pull this cake. We got all the fun colors in here. And I know you can't. You can't see them. There we go. That's better. So we have the red, teal, brown, the orange and brown mixed together, that light aqua color, the peachy blue or the peachy sparkle. Uh, the green sparkle is hidden because it was so little. The yellow non-sparkle and then the gold sparkle. Isn't that fun? That's going to make a wild project. So, is it perfect? No. Is it cool? Yeah. It's a fun way to play with your project, your, your scrap balls. You don't have to make a cake like this. I like to do this because then I don't have to go fishing through a bag of balls. Because there's nothing worse than a bag of balls, okay? Especially like this one starts to get all tangled up. If you make the cake ahead of time, you can just work straight off the cake. This is probably going to go in the trash. No, it's going to go over there with other scraps. We could have put that one in there too. That would have been really pretty. Get a little texture. And you can do different textures. You can do you can do all kinds of weird stuff in there. All right, so we made our own Cinnamon Stitches Magic Cake. <laughs> use your scraps, people. Like, try to use them. I have scraps over on this end. I've shown you guys recently. These are being collected because I'm going to chop these up into tiny little pieces, and I am going to mix them in with my spinning wools so that I can create a tweed look when I'm spinning my own wool. And, um, yeah... That's fun. <laughs> but this is really cool. What do you think? I think the blue and the peach kind of like stand out as maybe they shouldn't go in with these colors. But I think it's going to be pretty when we work it up. I really like that. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this really weird Friday yarn porn video. I will see you guys on, well, I'll see the members on tomorrow because I, I already recorded tomorrow's video. I already uploaded tomorrow's video. And the really crazy part is it's only Tuesday and I have enough makes to show you a Monday makes video. So I'm going to record Monday makes a week late, which means these are not the items I've made in the past seven days. These are the items I've made since Friday and today's Tuesday. And there's enough for a whole episode for Monday Makes. <laughs> and I think it's the medication the doctor put me on because I'm feeling better. But not only am I feeling better, like, I am so energetic. And, like, yeah, I feel like I could run a marathon, which is why I was able to go for a really long hike. And I walked way ahead of Little Man and Mr. Cinnamon. I had so much energy. And I've been feeling so horrible for so long that now that I'm finally feeling good, it feel, it's strange, like, oh my god, like, I feel, I feel too good, you know, which is causing anxiety, as a whole thing, but, um, I'll turn that down really bright, it's just, I've been go, 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 hopefully I don't burn out from that, because I still have so much to do this week, like I said, I'm out of town while you're watching this video, um, I have so much left to do still, but, um, I have the energy to do it, so I might as well do it while I can, right? All right, I'm going to go help Little Man with his schooling. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you guys bright and early Monday morning. As soon as homeschool is done today, I'm going to film that video. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye.